Hey everybody, what's up? Uh, I'm sure most of you know how to bounce and place audio in Ableton. So in case you don't know, don't worry, I'll show it to you. Also, I'll be showing you a new Max for Life device called Bounce and Place. So let's dive in. You gotta love Logic Pro because of its simple bounce and place option. You can select any region you want to bounce, Control V, and there you have it. This feature is helpful if you want to save some CPU memory. It can also help you to streamline your workflow. I wish it was as simple as this in Ableton, but nevertheless, the same is possible in Ableton too. So I'll quickly show you two ways how you can do this. The first way is called the freeze track method. So you need to insert an audio track and then you head to the channel which you want to bounce. You freeze it and uh, all you need to do is then just drag the frozen bit onto your audio channel and there you have it. It's a simple way to bounce your track but it has its own limitations. The next way is to route your audio onto a new channel. Open up a new audio channel. You need to set your input to the channel that you want to record. Solo your channel and then also arm your track for recording. And once you hit the record button, you can see that that region is being recorded onto the new channel. So these two methods that I've shown are simple tips to bounce your audio. Now let me show you a Max for Life device I purchased recently called Bounce in Place. It does the very same things like the methods shown earlier but without all the hassles of freezing and routing. Here you have the option of bouncing the audio onto a new track or also you have the option where you can put it on a custom track. In this mode you can also choose from amongst your channels and place the bounce audio to that channel. There are three bounce modes here and these are the buttons here. With the first button, you can bounce your track post mixer plus returns. This is the main button and this is your output through your master channel. So this is the basic bounce. And this is the third bounce mode through which you can bounce your audio post effects. And these buttons here are for push users. And also they can be mapped and triggered using any keyboard. Okay, so let's get started with this device. Select a new track. And this is the region that we want to record. I would arm my track, solo it and uh, let's get back here and just press the BIP button and so here you have your audio bounce directly to a new channel so you don't have to create a new channel and the cool part is that this device automatically creates a new channel for you also if you want to bounce multiple regions all you need to do is just select the region that you wish to bounce and then you can repeat the process you can go ahead and solo the multiple channels and then uh, head back to your device, press the BIB button. So you can see that the multiple channels are being bounced and recorded to a new channel. So as you can see, this device is pretty easy to use. All you need to do is just select the channels that you wish to bounce and then head over to the device and press the BIP button. Also, if you want to bounce of your master channel or all your channels within your DAW, instead of externally exporting it, you can use this device too. So just make sure none of your channels are on solo and go ahead and press the BIP button. So here we have the master audio of all the channels bounce. So far I've found this device very useful and it saves me a lot of time with my workflow. There's also a free version of this and I've left the link in the video description. The full version is very decently priced at around 3 euros and in Indian rupees around 250 rupees. Also I've noticed that this device can be helpful when you want to bounce and create new stems while working on a collaboration. So here I want to make a kick and bass stem. So I'm just selecting those regions and yeah, go back to my master channel, press the BIP button and Yep, here you go. You see your bass and kick being recorded and bounced. So you can follow this process to create a lot of stems within your project and it definitely makes it easier to share around for collabs. So I wanted to share this device with you so that your production workflow gets a little simpler. So if you like this video then please show some love. Bye.